In this video, I would like to show uh, how to connect uh, to any JDBC databases and um, uh, get a report out of uh, Crystal Report. Uh, so I'm going to use HSQLDB, which is a freeware, and which in my case, I have installed the same in C drive HSQLDB. Uh, the entire database uh, is uh, based on a script file, and I've created a database called WinDB which is available in the data folder this is the script so when hsqldb is uh, started it's going to load all these into a database such as uh, it's going to create a, uh, a database uh, it's going to create some tables and insert few values and as you can observe the username is sa for system admin and there's no password as such also in order to run this, I have created a small start.cmd, which is a simple command. But anyway, in my case, I just made it as a cmd file. So I just had to use the Java command to uh, run the server program. And I said that WinDB is the one which I have to load. Uh, in order to connect this via Crystal Reports, <coughs> we also have to set the class path to a jar file, which is available in the lib directory called hsqldb.jar which contains the driver class which is needed so i'm going to do the first thing is i'm going to <coughs> uh, i'm going to set the class path to this jar file so i just copy this path and i go to my computer properties to set up the environment variable called class path now note that i don't have the class path environment variable as of now so i can create new but just in case if you happen to have that class path environment variable you can always uh, edit the same now one more fact is you can either give it as a user variable or system variable it doesn't matter so at least for now so click on new in any area just type class path the value would be uh, the first thing would be to a uh, reference to the work directory which is a good practice and uh, the second one I'm going to give is c colon h sql db slash lib slash hsqldb.jar which contains the actual driver once I say ok and ok and come out of the screen let me get the server started by running the start cmd from my hsqldb folder so it's here and now you can see it says that the server is started in so and so milliseconds like 140 milliseconds uh, the port consumed by this server is 9001 I just minimize this window as long as this window is open so the server is starting uh, server is running sorry and uh, whenever you want to shut down the server I have one more j uh, CMD file which has a similar command to run uh, a server uh, or rather shut down server program from Java so I'm just going to use it later now that my server is running class path is set let me start crystal report and this time let me start with a blank report go to a create new connection and it's not a ODBC or DAO or ADO or a flat file system or any database fi file format so I have to look for uh, the JDBC which is uh, probably available not available I guess it's here expand so it's going to ask you when you try to expand what's the URL and all those stuff. Now, if you're a Java programmer, you know that in order to connect to application uh, from application to JDBC, you need to provide a URL, which is the protocol from Java, which is JDBC colon the protocol from the other end, which is uh, in our case HSQLDB. The protocol supply, you know, the uh, supported by HSQL is HSQLDB colon HSQL colon slash slash localhost or name or IP address of the computer that you want to connect to in my case it's a local host 9001 is the port number so you don't mention it's going to be the default slash win DB is uh, the name of the database I'm using and the class name is the one which we have set the class path to in that jar file we have a class so it's called as arg dot db dot jdbc driver 
not the case here so j starts with lower case somehow and uh, d is capitalized so uh, which is a little bit against the java community uh, standards i click next button give the pass username password the username is sa password is blank we observe that so let's try to connect and it says that it is done and as you can see that it has connected to windb and there is a public let's full screen this in the public section of that you will see few tables and stored procs and there are two tables department and emp maybe i can just select both of them and uh, as you can see links will specify that from the department number to department number the link is automatically established uh, <coughs> I can say OK. I get the report layout. Uh, let's just bring all the fields whichever is important. In this case, emp number, name, job, hire date, salary, commission, drag and drop. And I need the department name and location. So probably I go to these two, get my data here. Uh, if the space is not good enough, I can always say file, page setup, landscape. So I can see more space here. I'll use it for manager and uh, let us view the report and bingo we have the report ready and data is coming from uh, the HSQL DB. Uh, we can also work on any other options that crystal report works with uh, most other databases such as for example working with more tables I go to database expert I add the EMP as another table so that I can get the manager details and go to links the linking here is wrong uh, I don't need this I'll get rid of this uh, all I need is a link from a manager to the employee number uh, considering this as the employee table this is the manager table uh, I say ok I refresh data nothing else is added as of now so I'll go back add more now you can see that the manager data and I just drag and drop the employee name here and change the title as probably manager and when I view the report this is how it looks like now so as you can see manager data that's it I hope you enjoyed this video